What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you want to project a vivid image, you might want to try this Vivimage projector. All right, so I just picked this up because it's another little small projector. I love these things and I love testing them out to see if they really look uh, decent because they're cool and they're really simple to take around and it's really awesome to be able to share photos and pictures and videos with people and when I was a kid we used to bust out the projector with the carousel on top and these make it so much easier because everyone's got videos YouTube YouTube and uh, other movies on their phones so hey this is how it comes in this little box and that's kind of a testament to how big this projector is right out of the gate and I'm just going to unbox it here what we get here is a power cord two prong outlet and then we have looks like a cover for the lens right there oh we also get a tripod so you can see here plastic construction flares out pretty nice sized base to it little rubber feet on the end and then uh, we have a lock right here so I, that I think will unlock the ball joint the gimbal here is my guess oh it feels like it's under spring tension so I feel like it if you push it to the unlock like this you can move this around and then it's going to lock back in place, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about it being unlocked and maybe the thing falling over. This right here is like cast metal hardware, which is nice. Then you have that typical uh, quarter inch camera screw on there. So I'm kind of curious about checking that out because I was not expecting it to come with this, but it will make it a lot easier to direct it. Now here is the projector and it is Vivimage Explorer 2. So it's got a user manual, but I think these things are usually pretty straightforward quick start guide which I'll take a look at and here is the projector itself and take a look I mean that's this is what is kind of crazy is that it is so small and it's super light you know take a look at that so obviously um I'm I'm kind of at a loss to tell you what this is like it's it's almost like one of those old school uh nightstand alarm clocks it's uh about the size of a kind of a traditional pair of binoculars or something. You can see white plastic. We have a fan right there. We have a couple of uh, three and a half millimeter jacks, headphones and AV TFS SD card slot right there. We have an HDMI port right there, USB A. We also have a VGA port right there and then a power plug. And then on the back, it looks like we have an infrared sensor for um, potentially a remote or something and an uh, vent there for the fans and more vents for the fan there. On the bottom, we have four rubber feet and then that quarter inch plug. We also have, looks like a foot that we can unscrew here, which will allow us to get elevation on the front, if, especially if this is just sitting on a table. And then right up here is all the business end. Looks like another maybe infrared sensor right there and the lens. Now, if you look at the top here, we can adjust focus as well as, I'm not sure if this is maybe a keystoning, but or zoom and maybe assuming this is maybe like a zoom and then this is a focus ring. And then on the top here we have, uh, you gotta look at it this way so it's right when you're looking at it from the back. Power, uh, an okay, and advance, or rewind, and then return and enter. So you have all the controls on the top. And because it's got HDMI, that's what I would generally use. I'd use that AV adapter to connect my iPhone, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw a video file on a flash drive and throw it in here and see if we can play it. And so I'll get this sucker set up and then we'll try it out. So I've plugged in everything here and I've got the projector set up and I've dimmed some of the lights, but before I dim them all, I'm going to show you that this thing is so light that it works great on this little tripod. I've actually put a video file on this flash drive here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit the power button right there. Well, the green light is on. Ooh, the fan is up and boom, we're getting, we're getting light. Oh, the projector is three feet from the wall, <laughs> so it's not it's not far. This little switch uh, right here is actually a little bit of a keystoning, so you can see it's a little distorted because the way I've got it angled, so I can adjust it there and then dial in the focus again, just like that. Now we've got a bunch of um, language options, which is kind of cool, so I'm going to go ahead and select OK on English. So I'm going to go ahead and focus in on that. Right out of the gate, I'm pretty impressed. And I will say too, I have lights on. And not just room lights, I have my spotlights on. So 
you know, it's pretty easy to see against this white sheet, but obviously I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights now so that we can see it in all its glory. All right, so now I've got all the lights off. I do have kind of some light coming in through the window here, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. You can see uh, the, the image on the curtain here. So that's not the projector, that's the, uh, that's the curtain. But you can see here, really nice, uh, bright and beautiful. So I've got the USB plugged in and you can see right up here that it's red. So that means it's in there and I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Click okay. And now we have right here, the two videos that I went ahead and copied over. Now, I will say that one of these, and I wasn't sure uh, what file formats or codecs it would accept, so one of these, uh, this one is an AVI and this one is an MP4, so it looks like it's showing both of them, but uh, I can tell you that I always get demonetized whenever I show you something, so I'm gonna hit this video 12 first, and that's because it's a video I made. All right, sitting Whoa. at my desk here, and I've got uh, the 5.5 five microphone. There it is. is and wow, it's loud. Um, I wish I almost had the remote with it because that was really loud and I'm gonna hit play again, but you can see we have a variety of controls here. So you can see play, fast forward, previous, rewind, but man. You can see here, set up right in front of me and it's just a, I'm gonna actually turn off the, here the and, spotlight right um, behind me. Obviously below the camera. So my hand is just above it right there. So I'm kind of speaking into it. It's angled up towards my mouth here. Um, I'm just recording. I've got the volume settings set right in the middle. I will tell you, um, I'm actually really impressed. I can't see individual pixels from here. I'm just gonna be a little janky here and kind of try to zoom in. Uh, I'm going to probably interrupt some of it, but man, the resolution is pretty good. Usually you can see a little bit of the outline of individual pixels, but as I get into the picture right there, I'm not seeing them. So that, that right out of the gate uh, is pretty impressive. Now, I'm actually going to go back here and hit this other one, Death Race, which will certainly get us demonetized. turn down the volume the arrow keys in this video state turn down the volume so yeah could do that to minimize any distractions but now you can see here I can get to fast forward so if I hit okay it's like it's moving forward here anyway I toned everything down here so I wanted to just kind of show you the picture quality and like I said this looks like an original but well, man again i'm gonna go into the picture here a little bit and i want to just show you i'm kind of blocking the image there but i don't think these files are particularly you know they're not i mean i guess they're probably high def but maybe 720p but i think that picture actually looks really good and so is it going to be a home theater projector no it's not but in terms of a super portable projector, I mean, look at the size of this little thing, right? Super portable, super light. Uh, you can show movies, take your video and entertainment with you on the road. I really love this one. And I gotta tell you that I think the image that it's projecting is the best I've seen yet. And this has gotta be one of the smallest projectors I have tested yet. So if you wanna pick this up, it's also an incredibly good deal. So I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below, but I'm actually, way more impressed than I expected to be with this one. And again, I've got a new small projector that I'm taking with me on the road because I can watch videos of myself. Yeah. Peter Von Banda, out.